Okay, so this experiment is to find out what will happen when cold water is added to medium temperature water and what will happen when hot water is added to medium temperature water. So first, to take a look at the water in the center, that's our tap water with, coming from the cold tap. And you can see the temperature of that. And then here is a close up on the cold water you can see the temperature of that. On the left is Fahrenheit, on the right is Celsius. And you can see it has ice cubes in there and blue food coloring. Again, the water in the middle. Uh, and you can see the left is Fahrenheit and the right is Celsius. If you look up to the top, it says that. And then here is the red water. This is the hot water. It's so hot that it's steaming up the cup and if we look we have to look up pretty high to see how high that mercury has gotten. Well it's not mercury. Um, for safety thermometers are not made with mercury anymore but on the left you can see Fahrenheit and the right Celsius so you can see what temperature that water is. Now I'm going to place this here so that you can see what happens when I get one dropper of cold water, one dropper of hot water, and in order to make it fair, I'm putting both of them at the surface of the water and squirting them out. Into the water. And it's quite amazing what you see happening. And you know it was fair because I squirted them from both sides at the same time. So, you, so gravity had the same effect on both colors. I'm gonna let that go for a few more seconds so you can see how the currents in the ocean would really be happening as the hot water, which is red, mixes with the medium temperature water, it starts to get cooler and it begins to sink. That blue cold water at the bottom is really cold and so far it's not mixing very much, it's just sitting down there. Eventually if we leave this for a very long time, all the water will mix and become light purple and it will become the same temperature throughout. However, it's already been quite a few seconds and still you can see the warm water is at the top and the cold water is at the bottom. Some of that water is mixing with the medium temperature water and it's starting to fill in in the center. I think I'm going to zoom in so you can see the details of some of those currents in the water. When you do your own experiment, you'll be able to see that happening as well. So those will be your qualitative observations. And it's really amazing how you can see those currents. Let me set it here, see if some of those currents are moving slightly. The hot water is starting to cool and it's starting to sink. And you can see at the border where they are touching, they're starting to mix. So some of that cool water is starting to rise a little bit. But remember when we added them, the cold water sank because cold water is denser 
and heavier and the hot water stayed at the surface because it is warm water, hot water is less dense, lighter. And you can see even after all this time, you can still see the warm water is on the top and the cold water is at the bottom. Looks like it's going to take a long time for the temperature to even out and for those colors to mix.